Frankie's with us in Phoenix, Arizona, starting off this hour. Hi, Frankie. Welcome to the Ramsey Show. Hi, Dave and Ken. Um, thanks for taking my call. Sure. Um, I've, I'm in a quandary. Um, I am 75 years old. I have no children. I have a house that I live in, and I have two rental properties. One is completely paid off, and the other I owe 6000 on. Um, so I'm able to supplement my Social Security. And between the two houses, uh, if I have it at market rent, which one is at market rent now, the other one uh, is not yet because I'm in the process of rehabbing it while my tenant is still in there. So that's been a long process. He wants to buy it, and that's why he wanted to stay in it. So when that other house is up to... Uh, when it's completed, the renovation's completed, I will have about 30000 in it because the house was built 1955, so it needed a whole lot of updates and renovation. And so I'll be netting a total of a little over 20000 a year from the two rentals that are paid, will, be, will be paid off. Um, but the tenant wants to buy it. Market value right now is I paid 70000 for it 13 years ago. I have the same tenant for 13 years because I've kept his rent below market. So now I've offered it to him twice before to buy it. He said no. Now he wants to buy it because he knows I'm going to up the rent. And so... (laughs) uh, (laughs) You are one sharp cookie. (laughs) So I'm trying to decide, sell it or keep it. Yeah, okay. Let, let's know. just stop. I don't want to be mean to him or anything, but what he wants is not relative to me. I all, know. That ma- all that matters to me is what you want. Right. So f- you're 75. When you're 80, right. do you want to own these two rental properties? It sounds to me like you're pretty good at it, and you may want to own them. Well, I have um, the, the, in different states, and the one that's cash flowing very well um, I have a wonderful property manager. He's great. And so I trust him completely, and he's doing a really good job for me. Uh, this other one that's not quite paid off and has a tenant in it, I've been managing it from a distance because I've had this same guy in it Where for 15 is it? years. It's in Dallas. Okay, and you're in Phoenix. All right. Sounds, uh-huh. to, me, sounds to me like you might have an itch to sell it. Well, and its market value right now is mm-hmm. between one eighty and one ninety, and I paid seventy for it. Right, so you're gonna have some capital gains. A lot, <laughs> yeah. yeah, but not two hundred and fifty. So I, I don't have to wait. Well, of course, it's a rental, so I yeah. don't have any write off exactly. on that. So exactly. yeah, so whatever you're, and you probably have adjusted your, you probably written off depreciated your basis down to nothing. So it's probably all oh, yes. gain. It's probably all gain. Yeah. Yeah, and um, <laughs> yeah. so it's going to be a uh, it's going to be a thirty thousand dollars tax bill. Yes, I'm aware of that. Okay, All right. The, the question the I'm bill, asking is you know, this: I regardless can... of what your tenant wants, what does Frankie want? Well, you know, before he wanted to buy it, I'm thinking, well, I've built myself a pretty good annuity. I mean, <clears throat> I'm not have to pay any. You know, when you buy annuities, I think. So that's not reasonable for me. And so I feel like I built myself this annuity <clears throat> by having these two properties. Now, yep. when I'm 85, yeah, but when I'm 85, do I want to mess with it? I don't know. I don't <laughs> think so. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. I mean, it's up to you. It's a good time to sell if you want to sell, but you don't need to sell by because the, the market's telling you to sell, and you don't need to sell because the tenant wants you to sell. You need to sell because you want to sell. And here's the thing. After talking to you for just a few minutes, you're sharp. You already know down inside what what feels right to you. And you can trust your instincts, Frankie. After talking to you, you got good instincts. That's right. That's why she said quandary. She's going, I know what I want to do, but I'm feeling pressure somewhere else. And I think she's feeling pressure because she's a nice lady. I think she's going to keep it five more years and then she's going to sell it. I think so, too.
That's, that's what the I think she's going to do. But I, yeah. I think this tenant, want, she wants to keep this guy happy. And you that's know what? Right. He's been happy long enough. He's been there 13 years at reduced rent. It's time for him to not be happy. Yeah, tough, man. Go, go. You're a big boy. <laughs> go buy yourself a house somewhere else. It's your house. That's Frankie. not greedy. It's yeah. just doing business. I love it. I mean, I, I, we, we raise rents on ours every single time they come due, even if it's 20 bucks. Because I don't want anybody thinking that it's going to be locked in that way for 10 years. No, or Dave, it's because you're an evil slum lord. That's Just me. admit it, you evil, heartless Some capitalist. Really nice slums. <laughs> but yeah, it's a really nice slum. Yeah. There you go. But I am heartless and greedy. Oh, There's no question, question about that. Yes. No doubt about it. This is The Ramsey Show.